Hi, I'm Janet Garth. Hi, I'm Maria Canal Ferreira. I'm Kim Kardashian, and you're watching Better. Hi, I'm Stacey London. Hi, I'm Brett Michaels. Hi, I'm Regina King. Hi, I'm Harry. And I'm Lisa. Hi, I'm Sigourney Weaver. You better watch. Because it's better, okay? It makes life better, better right? right? That's what it's all about. Well, if you're planning a summer getaway with the entire family, we have some tips that are going to make your life a whole lot easier. Lifestyle expert Michelle Horner is here, and she is going to share some words of wisdom for packing, traveling, and getting through airport security with your kids. This is a big one, Michelle. It's tough. <laughs> yes, because I know a lot of families out there are thinking they don't even want to go on a trip. I because know. Because getting there is the hardest part, right. right? But it doesn't actually have to be that hard if you're organized and you're smart about what you're bringing. Okay, so for a family, I always overpack. Yes, but everybody does. Yeah, for a family <laughs> of four or five people, how much should we be packing? Right, so for one week of vacation, you need one carry-on bag and two checked bags. That's all you need, and you can fit everything in those. For four or five people? Yes. You really only need one carry-on. You only need one, because you don't want to be figuring out who has what and losing things, so bring one for the family. If your kids are older than five, you can give them a cute little backpack. Mm -hmm. It teaches them responsibility. Don't put very valuable things in it. <laughs> no but iPods, just some fun no, things yeah. for, the, for the plane for them to do. Okay, what should we pack in the you know main carry-on? Right, so you want to bring a backup uh, clothing option. It's a shirt for mom or dad and then a change of clothes for the kids because accidents happen and you don't want to be left with, you know, mm -hmm. nothing nothing to wear. So snacks, feeding the kids, that's something that's going to entertain them on the plane, but also on takeoff and landing, it'll help if they're chewing and swallowing with, to alleviate some of the air pressure in the, oh. on the plane. So okay. it's a really good tip. Good some games, entertainment, things to keep them busy during the flight. Baby wipes are one of my favorite tips because sticky fingers, messes, baby wipes are good for everything. Um, obviously, if you have medication or things that you need like that, you want to make sure you bring that on the plane. A document holder. Put all of your travel documents in one holder and have mom or dad be responsible for that the whole time. Okay, so that's all we need in the carry-on. That's your carry-on. That simplifies on. things quite exactly. a bit. So, as far as suitcases go, if you have two checked bags, you suggest actually mixing up everyone's clothing and putting some in one bag, some in the other. Why? Yep, exactly. Well, first of all, it's important that you check bags because people these days are really scared to check their bags. Mm -hmm. But if your bag is on a flight, they're not going to take off without you. So if you're distracted or miss the last boarding call, they're going to make sure they find you. But also, people are scared of these kind of baggage fees and mm -hmm. all these extra costs. But there are ways around that. So certain airlines like JetBlue and Southwest, first bags are checked free. Also, you want to make sure you check your credit cards and charge cards because a lot of them have benefits. Mm -hmm about checked bags. So for example, like American Express Platinum, they have a $200 credit that pays for these baggage fees. Oh, so do a your really research. Good, do your homework, exactly. So then in terms of packing your bag, you want to mix bags. So mm -hmm. not everything, not all of my clothes in one bag and all of dad's clothes in the other bag, because if one bag gets lost, you'll have nothing for the vacation. So mix and match the bags. Okay. Color palettes. This is a great tip. So bring one color palette per person, and then you can mix and match. So you don't need a hundred different shirts. You can mix and match shirts with pants and things oh, like that. Oh, you're saying you can wear the same shirt twice, just wear it with different pants exactly. or pants with exactly. a different shirt. Okay, that's that's a really good idea. Now I do like this tip. You say bring an extra folded bag. So you need to leave a little room in your suitcase right. for souvenirs. Exactly. So if you're gonna go shopping, I mean most people pack to the size of their suitcase, mm -hmm. not just I, what they need. I do that all the time. <laughs> exactly. And I no room anywhere. Right. So mm -hmm. bring an extra little bag, a nylon bag that can fold up really small that you can put in your suitcase, and then you have a that. A bag like this, exactly. in case you were wondering. <laughs> you have that for the way home, so you're yes. not stuffing yeah, everything in. Yeah, because that folds in. on up, so that's nice. Exactly. Okay. And then in tips. terms of packing, you want to put all the heavy stuff down in the bottom, because these wheeled suitcases, when you turn them upright, all of the heavy stuff is going to fall. So start with the heavy stuff at the bottom. You want to lay everything out. Use your t-shirts and socks to kind of fill in the gaps. You can roll Do, those up I was going to really say, small. you suggest rolling them. Yep. I've heard that before. I've never tried it, but will yep. it keep stuff wrinkle-free, though? Definitely. Yeah. yeah, because t-shirts and socks, I mean, they're not getting wrinkled anyway. Well, so that's true. It's you really don't care about that. What about, you have a tip for going through security? Yes. Yeah, so prepare, prepare, prepare with your family. Do a dry run at home. <laughs> the kids are <laughs> going to be kids. so excited for the trip anyway, so you can practice. Mm -hmm. Wear comfortable clothing, shoes. You want slip-ons, Velcro, shoes that are easy to get on and off. No jewelry. These are great <laughs> tips. Thanks, Michelle. 